ओके सो क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन वेरीफाई एक्स क्यू प्लस वाई क्यूब इज इक्वल टू प्रोडक्ट ऑफ एक्स प्लस वाई एंड एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस माइनस ऑफ एक्स वाई प्लस वाई स्क्वायर दिस आइडेंटिटी वी हैव डन सो दिस सेम आइडेंटिटी वी हैव टू वेरीफाई सो वील स्टार्ट विद राइट हैंड साइड आर एच एज इज गिवेन इक्वल टू एक्स प्लस वाई इन टू एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस एक्स वाई प्लस वाई स्क्वायर सो now if we multiply it to so we get x times of this that is x square minus xy plus y square plus of y times of this that is x square minus of xy plus of y square now further solving we get x times of x square will be x cube minus of x times of x square will be minus of x square y plus xy square plus x square y again y into minus x y will be minus of x y square and plus of y cube. Now we can clearly see here that minus of x square y and plus of x square y will cancel out and plus of x y square and minus of x y square will cancel out. So at the end we are getting the R H is equal to x cube minus x cube plus of y cube. so this is in fact our lhs also so that means lhs is equal to rhs hence verified okay now we will move to the next part that is part number 2 part number 2 question is we have to verify that x cube minus y cube is equal to x minus y into x square plus xy plus y square so again we will be starting with rhs so rhs is equal to x minus y into x square plus of xy plus of y square again the same process we will be x will be taken outside x multiplied by the second factor minus since there is a minus sign between x and y so now it will be a minus sign here and y into x square plus xy plus y square so again solving we get x into x square is x cube plus 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 x square y plus xy square minus of x square y minus plus minus of xy square plus uh, sorry minus into plus is minus of y cube so again we will be seeing that plus x square y minus x square y plus x y square minus x y square will cancel out and at the end we are getting the value of r h is as x cube minus of y cube and this is our l h is also so we can say that l h is is equal to r h is so hence it is verified so question number 10 part number 1 that is 27 y cube plus of 125 z cube so uh clearly we have to apply the same identity that is we know by the identity that a cube plus of b cube equals to a plus b into a square minus ab plus b square so here we will see what is a and b here we can see if we just uh, 27y cube can be written as 27s cube is of 3 so it can be written as 3y cube plus of 125 is 5 cube of 5 so 5z whole cube so we can see here that the value of a is 3y and the value of b is 5z so we will apply the identity here a plus b means 3y plus of 5z and a square will be 3y whole square 3y whole square minus of ab that is 3y into 5z and plus of b square will be plus of uh plus of b square will be what that is plus of 5z square so on solving we get basically 
थ्री वाई प्लस ऑफ फाइव जेड एंड हेयर वी विल बी गेटिंग थ्री वाई होल स्क्वायर इज स्क्वायर ऑफ थ्री इज नाइन सो नाइन वाई स्क्वायर माइनस थ्री फाइव जो फिफ्टीन वाई जेड प्लस ट्वेंटी फाइव जेड स्क्वायर सो दिस विल बी द आंसर आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड सो सिक्सटी फोर सेकेंड पार्ट सिक्सटी फोर एम क्यूब माइनस थ्री फोर्टी थ्री एन क्यूब अगेन ए क्यूब माइनस बी क्यूब इक्वस टू ए माइनस बी इन टू ए स्क्वायर प्लस ए बी प्लस बी स्क्वायर सो हेयर सिक्सटी फोर इज द क्यूब ऑफ फोर सो वी कैन राइट इट एज फोर एम होल क्यूब माइनस ऑफ थ्री फोर्टी थ्री थ्री फोर्टी थ्री इज द क्यूब ऑफ सेवन सो सेवन एन होल क्यूब नाउ वी हैव गॉट द वैल्यू ऑफ ए एंड बी ए इज फोर एम एंड बी इज सेवन एन सो इक्वल टू ए माइनस बी विल बी फोर एम माइनस ऑफ सेवन एन ए स्क्वायर विल बी ए स्क्वायर विल बी फोर एम होल स्क्वायर प्लस ऑफ ए बी विल बी फोर एम इन टू सेवन एन प्लस ऑफ बी स्क्वायर विल बी बी इज वॉट सेवन एन सो सेवन एन होल स्क्वायर सो दैट विल बी फोर एम माइनस ऑफ सेवन एन इन टू फोर स्क्वायर इज सिक्सटीन एम स्क्वायर प्लस सेवन फोर जो ट्वेंटी एट एम एन प्लस सेवन सेवन जो फोर्टी नाइन एन स्क्वायर so this will be the answer so question number 15 give possible expression for length and breadth if area is given equal to 25a square minus of 35a plus of 12 look if this is a uh, area is a quadratic polynomial then we know that quadratic polynomial if x factorized if we factorize a quadratic polynomial we get two factors quadratic polynomial is a factor of it is the product of two factors and we know that area is equal to length into breadth so if we factorize this quadratic polynomial the two factors which we will be getting will be the length and breadth of the possible expression for the length and breadth so so what we have to do in this question basically we have to factorize this quadratic polynomial so like we have already done factorization of quadratic polynomial in the similar way we will be doing here so we will see what is the value of uh, the a into c that is ac is given 25 into 12 and if we factorize it further so 25 is 5 into 5 and 12 is 2 into 2 into 3 so these are the these will be the factors basically and if we uh, we have to find out the sum two such factors whose sum is equal to b that is minus of 35 and the product will be uh, this so if we take 20 and 15 so 20 into 15 will be equal to same because 5 into 2 into 2 5 for the 20 and 5 is the 15 so this will be the same as ac and 20 Uh, plus of fifteen will be equal to thirty five. So we can write it as twenty five a square minus within bracket twenty plus fifteen a plus of twelve. So again, if we remove the bracket twenty five a square minus of twenty a minus of fifteen a plus of twelve. Again, if we take common from the first two terms. So five a will be common. So five five the twenty five five a minus five four the twenty four, and here if we take the common, then it will be minus of three five uh, a minus into plus is minus three five the fifteen fifteen a. Uh, then again there will be minus of four uh, because minus into minus plus three four the twelve. So we have got five a minus four and. 5a minus 3. These are the two factors of the given quadratic polynomial. Now, question is asking what are the possible expression for length and breadth. So, the possible expression can be the possible expression expressions. The possible expression 
for length and breadth can be either length is equal to 5a minus 4 breadth is equal to 5a minus 3 or it can also be that length is equal to 5a minus 3 and breadth is equal to 5a minus 4 so the possible expression for length and breadth can be either of the two again similarly in the second part also we are given up with the area 35 y square plus 13 y minus 12 it is again a quadratic polynomial and if we factorize this quadratic polynomial we get the expressions for length and breadth so we have to factorize here so again the value of ac if we see the value of ac will be 35 into minus of 12 so we get the value as 7 into 5 and this will be 2 into 2 into 3 so we, these will be the factors so if we just uh, try to find out such that the ac is this and uh, b will be so if we take out the two factors it will be um, 28 and 15 7 in 28 uh, 28 minus of 15 is equal to 13 which is equal to b and 28 into 15 is equal to ac so that means it will be 35 of y square plus within bracket 28 minus 15 times of y minus 12 so that will be equal to 35 y square plus of 28 y minus of 15 y minus of 12 so if we take a common so what will be taken as common between the two 7 y will be common and 7 5 is a 35 so it will be 5 y plus of 4 because 7 4 is a 28 minus again if we take 3 as common 3 5 is a 15 5 y minus uh, sorry plus 3 4 is a 12 so plus into minus is minus so we get the value as 5 y plus 4 and 7 y minus 3 so we have got the two expressions so either of the two can be the length and breadth so one possible expression for length and breadth will be length is equal to 5y plus 4 and breadth is equal to 7y minus 3 it can also be the case that 5y plus 4 be the breadth and the 7y minus 3 is the length okay so now we will be moving to next question that is question number 16 now in question number 16 what are the possible expression for the dimension of cuboid whose volumes are given below 3x square minus of 12x so that means if volume is 3x square minus 12x so we should have three factors and each or uh, one factor will be representing the expression for length breadth and height because we know that volume is the product of volume of cuboid is equal to length into breadth into height so means we have to factorize 3x square minus 12x as the product of three factors so let's see how we can factorize so 3x square minus 12x we can take 3x as common so we get x minus of 4 so that means we have got the three factors as 3 into x into x minus 4 so one possible expression for one possible expression for the length breadth and height will be length is equal to 3 breadth is equal to x and height is equal to x minus 4 we can have any of the them can be any of the three factors can be length other factors can be breadth and height so this is one condition there may be other possible situations also okay similarly if the volume is 12 k y square plus 8 k y minus 20 k then we have to uh, find the possible expression for the dimensions of cuboid again we have to factorize into three factors so if we take 4k as common 
सो वी आर लेफ्ट विथ फोर थ्री जा ट्वेल्व वाई स्क्वायर प्लस फोर टू ज एट वाई माइनस फोर फाइव ज ट्वेंटी सो वी हैव गॉट फोर के विद इन ब्रैकेट थ्री वाई स्क्वायर प्लस टू वाई माइनस फाइव मीन्स अगेन वी हैव टू फैक्टराइज दिस सो इफ वी टेक दिस क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन थ्री वाई स्क्वायर प्लस टू वाई माइनस फाइव सो ए सी विल बी इक्वल टू थ्री इंटू माइनस फाइव सो वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट टू फैक्टर्स सच दैट द सम विल बी इक्वल टू प्लस टू सो वी कैन राइट इट एज फोर के विद इन ब्रैकेट थ्री वाई स्क्वायर प्लस फाइव माइनस थ्री इक्वल्स टू टू सो फाइव माइनस थ्री वाई माइनस ऑफ फाइव सो वी कैन राइट फोर के विद इन ब्रैकेट थ्री वाई स्क्वायर प्लस ऑफ फाइव वाई माइनस ऑफ थ्री वाई माइनस ऑफ फाइव एज वी नो दैट प्लस फाइव माइनस थ्री प्लस टू प्लस फाइव इन टू माइनस थ्री इज माइनस ऑफ फिफ्टीन विच वी आर गेटिंग हेयर दैट मीन्स दिस विल विद पॉसिबल एंड फोर के इफ वी टेक दिस आउट ऑफ दिस इफ वी टेक वाई कैन बी टेकन इज कॉमन सो इट विल बी थ्री वाई प्लस फाइव माइनस वन कैन बी टेक इन कॉमन थ्री वाई प्लस फाइव सो वी हैव गॉट ऑल द थ्री फैक्टर्स एज फोर के थ्री वाई प्लस फाइव एंड वाई माइनस वन सो वन पॉसिबल वन पॉसिबल एक्सप्रेशन कैन बी वन पॉसिबल एक्सप्रेशन फॉर द लेंथ ब्रेड एंड हाइट is that length can be 4k breadth can be 3y plus 5 and the height can be y minus 1 so we can have any possibility but this is i have told you just one possible expression so again we come back to question number 11 27x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 9xyz so we know the identity as a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus of 3 abc equal to within bracket a plus b plus c and within bracket a square plus b square plus c square minus of ab minus of bc minus of ca okay so if we solve it further 27x cube can be written as 3x whole cube plus of y cube plus of z cube minus of 3 into 3x into y into z that is 3 is a 9xyz okay so we are getting lhs so what will be the rhs it will be a plus b plus c so a plus b plus c will be 3x plus y plus z and a square will be 3x square 3x whole square plus y square plus z square minus of ab will be 3x into b that is y minus of bc will be yz and minus of ca will be z into 3x so it will be 3xz z into 3x that is 3xz okay so on further solving we get the value as 3x plus y plus z and it will be square of 3 is 9 9x square plus y square plus of z square minus of 3xy minus of yz minus of 3xz Okay, next question is x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus three x y z equals to one by two x plus y plus z into x minus y whole square plus y minus z whole square plus z minus x whole square. So we will be starting up with R H S. So R H S we will be writing one by two within bracket x plus y plus z and within bracket x minus y whole square plus y minus z whole square. Plus z minus x whole square. So if we further expand x a minus b whole square, this 
so we will be getting 1 by 2 within bracket x plus y plus z within bracket x minus y whole square that is x square plus y square minus of 2xy plus y minus z whole square that is y square plus z square minus of 2yz plus z minus x whole square that is z square plus x square minus of 2xz now we can see that further we can write it as 1 by 2 within bracket x plus y plus z and we can here also see that there are 2 x square there are 2 y square and there are 2 z square so we can write it as 2 x square plus 2 y square plus 2 z square minus of 2 x y minus of 2 y z and minus of 2 x z so we can see here clearly that out of all the terms 2 is the common so we can take out this 2 out of the bracket that is 1 by 2 within bracket x plus y plus z and 2 will be taken out within bracket x square plus of y square plus of z square minus xy minus of yz minus of xz so we can clearly see that this 2 and this 2 can be cancelled out so we have got the value of RHS as x plus y plus of z within bracket x square plus y square plus z square minus of xy minus of yz minus of xz and we know this by the identity from right left to right we can say that since since we know that x plus y plus z into x square plus of y square plus of z square minus of xy minus of yz minus of zx or xz is equal to what it is equal to x cube plus of y cube plus of z cube minus of 3xyz so we can write the value of rhs is equal to x cube plus of y cube plus of z cube minus of 3 x y z and LHS is also the same as given in the question so we can say that x LHS and RHS are equal hence verified hope it is clear Question number 13. If x plus y plus z is equal to 0, we have to show that x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xyz, uh, sorry, is equal to 3xyz. So we know that by the identity, we know that since x cube plus of y cube plus of z cube minus of 3xyz equal to x plus y plus z into x square plus y square plus z square minus xy minus of yz minus of xz so this is the identity so and it is given putting the value of x plus y plus z equals to 0 since it is given in the question that x plus y plus z is equal to 0 this is given in the question so we will substitute the value in this identity so we get x cube plus of y cube plus of z cube minus of 3 x y z equals to 0 into this so 0 multiplied by this term will be equal to 0 only Hope this is clear so we can say that x cube plus of y cube plus of z cube minus of 3 x y z is equal to 0 because 0 multiplied by this is 0 so we can send this 3 x y z on the right hand side so we can get x cube plus y cube plus of z cube is equal to 3 x y z hence verified so this is 
the identity also you can uh, learn it also that whenever the value of x plus y plus z is equal to 0 then x cube plus y cube plus z cube will be equal to 3xyz. Question number 14 find the value without calculating the cube means we don't have to calculate the cube of minus 12 and cube of 7 and cube of 5 we have to calculate the value of this without calculating actual calculating the cube means we have to apply the identity so if we apply the identity first of all we can see that a this will be the identity of a cube plus b cube plus c cube so let us check whether what is the value of a plus b plus c so a is equal to minus 12 b is equal to 7 and c equals to 5 taking a b c as this so a plus b plus c will be equal to minus 12 plus of 7 plus of 5 that is equal to minus 12 plus 12 that is equal to 0 now we know that as we have done in the previous question that if a plus b plus c equals to 0 then a cube minus of b cube sorry a cube plus of b cube plus of c cube is equal to 3 a b c since the term on the right hand side that is a plus b plus c into a square plus b square plus c square minus of a b minus b c minus c a will become equal to 0 because a plus b plus c is 0 so a cube plus b cube plus c cube will be equal to 3 times of a b c so here minus 12 whole cube plus 7 whole cube plus of 5 whole cube we will be equal to 3 into a that is of minus 12 into b that is 7 and into c that is 5 so it is equal to minus 12 3 is a 36 36 times of 7 5 is a 35 36 times of 35 that is coming equal to minus of 1 2 6 0 that is the answer okay similarly we can do the second part also so here if we take the value of a as 28 b as minus 15 c as minus 13 then a plus b plus c is coming equal to 28 plus of minus 15 will be minus 15 plus of minus 13 will be minus 13 that is coming equal to 0 so a plus b plus c equals to 0 so the formula is a cube plus of b cube plus of c cube is equal to 3 a b c so if we put the value of this that is 28 whole cube plus of minus 15 whole cube plus of minus 13 whole cube it will be equal to 3 times of a that is 28 times of b that is minus 15 times of c that is minus of 13 so since we are having negative sign two times it will be positive value and it will be if on multiplication we will get the value as 16380 so this will be the answer for the this statement so we have completed the exercise with this question hope you have understood all thank you so much class god bless you all